An exchange rate system establishes how exchange is determined from one currency to another. I am Ken Royals. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Business Talk, where we get to acknowledge the African entrepreneurs in Turkey. Here with me at Eagle Studio today is John Babalola, the CEO of John Orchid Global Limited. Mr. John, you're welcome on the show today. Thank you. Good morning. It's so good to have you around. Yeah, my pleasure to be here. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's dive into business. Right. Um, tell us about yourself. Okay, my name is John Abiodun Babalala, bachelor's degree holder in international relations. Then I had my master's degree also in international relations okay. at Sambukoto University. Wow, wow, wow. And That's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, Mr. John, like, um, you're into um, exchange rates, yeah. um, currency change. Yeah. And um, I want to know, like, how did you develop the idea of your business? How did you come about it? Okay, the journey started uh, in 2019. I got to Turkey 2019. But you know, the uh, truth of the matter is that uh, living abroad will uh, help your mindset and it will build mm. you into becoming something better. Mm. So it was because when I got here, there was no job for mm. foreigners because of language barrier and I had to survive. Mm. So I devised it with them and I, I saw people doing it. Then I told myself, I can, I can become better in doing it. And that's just it. And wow, I started. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Um, so um, this exchange rate business you do, like, um, okay, if there is anyone okay. that is interested in doing this particular business you do okay. in Turkey as African, All right. you know, you know, there are difference between being an African and um, having a business in Turkey yeah. than being Turkish yeah. and having a business in Turkey. You know, yeah. there's some difficulties you will have to face and all of that. So um, what do you think the person should consider first before starting your kind of business here? Yeah. Okay, the business, uh, so to say, uh, it's financially motivated. Mm. So if I, I have some so many people that have mentored, that have groomed, that okay. have uh, introduced to the business because uh, the, like this generosity, the sky is too big for all the flights yeah, to fly without yeah. touching each other. So, but the most important thing is that you should get your funds ready mm. so that you can become a very serious player in the business. Okay. And also, you should be able to work. Mm. You have to put in hard work because it's a new business, it's a new terrain, it's a new system. To you probably are not used to it. Uh, yeah. Like I, as much as I can remember, I don't think this kind of business exists in Nigeria. Mm. It's not for only the uh, Aousas. Yeah, then yeah, that's true. If you are going to do this kind of business, then you have to uh, be able to talk to people, mm. have uh, uh, understanding of the location okay. in Turkey, in Istanbul, where we live, and uh, also to be able to persuade and convince people that they should be doing business with you because we are so many. Yeah, there are so many lot. competitors. So it all depends on how you can sell yourself. And now you can motivate people to be come to come into your party. So that just it. Have your money ready, then be able to do the hard work, the little bit, and then you are, yes. you are good so, to go. So um, have your money ready and be able to put in that hard work. Yeah. Thank you so much for that great idea, Mr. Thank John. You so much. Okay, so um, in your business, like what has been the challenges so far? Ah, there, there are a lot of challenges. Uh, so many, the challenge of uh, Nigeria banks will frustrate you mm. because you may want to transfer money and it's a very quick or urgent transfer, then you find that your app is not working. Yeah. Another challenge is competition. There's a stiff competition because you mm. know so many Nigerians are coming to Turkey and we have limited job slots yeah. and people need yeah, to survive. True. So people are, and there's no restriction to this mm. business and you can, even your next door neighbor can start up the same business with you mm. then you cannot stop him or her so there is a big competition you have to mm. fight you have to become a good fighter to survive and also most importantly is that uh, there are no trustworthy people anymore you know we we'll find out that uh, the love of money is mm. taking uh, uh, is taking uh, what is it called preeminence because mm. Uh, you want to transfer money to somebody that, okay, in the next one minute or two minutes, I'm bringing your money, you find out the person has disappeared. So many things, so many issues in the business. 
today you make profit, tomorrow you lose it and all of that. So there are a whole lot of challenges. challenges that you need to be ready mm -hmm. for. But if you are a good fighter, trust me, mm. you keep sailing. Mm. If you are yeah. a good fighter, you, you keep, keep sailing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Babalola. Um, so before we go on a short break, I want to ask this question. You you mentioned something about um the bank frustrating you and all of that. You know, I wanted to ask initially i wanted to ask like what is that thing that frustrates you the most in this particular business apart from you know the bank um and all of that what is that thing the, that that frustrates you the most in this exchange business you do okay uh i would say is the problem of uh money scarcity Mm. Yeah, mm. that is the most okay. important thing because other problems can be there is always a way out. Yeah. But when there is scarcity, scarcity. there is scarcity, and these are the kind of money that you cannot print yourself. So you oh, have to source true. for it, that's and uh, you don't have control over it. Uh, you are living on other people's uh, struggles. Mm. So when people that are supposed to sell money for you don't have then you are off That's and true. people will be calling you late right and center i need ten thousand dollars i need twenty thousand dollars and you don't have it so and you're you're not, yeah and you yeah. cannot print this money you cannot you produce can't. this money yourself yeah. then that's the biggest problem wow. that's wow. the biggest the problem of scarcity mm -hmm. and you know because of what i said earlier because of competition people mm -hmm. that are selling money that are doing this business are even more than people that need <laughs> the money. That needs the money. So yeah. the producer, uh, the produce, uh, the consumers. Mm -hmm. No, okay, the producers they are, are more, more than, than the, the consumers. Yeah. So the very, <laughs> and that is not that's good. it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. at it being, you have control over this money. At it being, you can work on this money. Then you don't have a problem. All a right. Problem of scarcity. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much for that, Mr. Babalola. We'll be going on a short break right now. See you soon. Education, information, and other updates. Keep watching Eagle Studio and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and other social media. Thank you for staying with us. I still have here with me the CEO of John Orchid Global Limited. Mr. So John Babalola. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Okay, uh, Mr. Babalola, what what plans do you have for your company like in the next five to ten years? What plans do you have and how do you plan to achieve them? Okay, uh, you know, we the simple plan is that we want to go digital. Mm. We want to have our own application, we want to have our own platform, mm. and we want to have a kind of uh, business that people can access from their own. Okay. I would need to walk around. We are building that and we know in the next five, ten years we'll be there. Mm. Just to mm. go digital. Mm. Yeah. That's so beautiful. So um, what's, what's your relationship like with your clients, your employees? Uh, it's, uh, it's individual and it's relative, you know. To me, I build a friendship relationship. I make everybody my friends. Okay. Uh, a kind of relationship that is more than customer based. Based, yeah. We go to go out together, and it, when there is any uh, opportunity to gist, to talk, to argue, mm -hmm. and when there is opportunity to fight, to fight because if you don't <laughs> fight, it's not better. Yeah, yeah. But most importantly, is that all my customers are my friends. Mm -hmm. so just mm -hmm. friendly relationship, and that's all. That's so beautiful. Yeah. That's so. Be I think you, you already answered the third question I was about. Asking you, I was about asking you, like, how is it like to work for you? Uh, yeah. I was, I was, okay, let me just like expand. To, to work for me, it's it's a win-win business. I have about three to four guys working with me that we are just a kind of uh, freelance marketing. Uh, it's a win-win uh, for everybody. Okay. You chop, I chop. <laughs> Sorry for using that word. So is that yeah, is yeah. just it. So. It's a win-win for everybody and okay. everybody go home smiling. Mm. So it. that freelance marketing stuff, like the guys that work for you, do they get salary or is it based on commission? They get commission. Okay. They get, there's nobody under salary, salary at the moment until okay. when we are able to set up our system okay. that when we are live digital, you know, we need so yeah. many people that will be working. Yeah. 
from the background, mm -hmm. and then we can have people on our payroll. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, we have people taking commissions, and they are living on it, and they are living life, they are living fine. Oh, wow. yeah. That's so good to hear. Thank you so, so much. Um, Mr. John, this will be my last question for today. Thank you so um, much. To our audience out there, what do you have to people out there? Like, what motivation do you have for them? Those that want to go into um, a business like yours, or rather, those that want to become entrepreneurs. All right. Okay. To our audience, I want to say to you: uh, be strong, be bold, be courageous. When I was about going into this business, I got so many advices that you cannot survive because mm. of the challenges, but. I did not allow that to pull me down, rather mm -hmm. I put up a strong fight and as, since other people are doing it, I can. Mm -hmm. So most importantly, look at the positive side and don't look at the negative side because the negative side you always want to pull you down. Mm -hmm. So once you're able to take care of that, you'll be flying high. Thank you very much Mr. John Babalola. Mr. John Babalola says, be strong, be bold, and be courageous. Yeah, Always cool. look at the positive side and not the negative side. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of the Business Talk. See you next week. Thank you so much.